Let's talk about the minor scale now. So the minor scale pattern is different from the major scale pattern of whole steps and half steps. That's what makes a minor scale sound different than a major scale. Major scales sound bright, happy, joyful. Minor scales sound mysterious, dark, brooding, or sad. A minor scales pattern is a whole step, a half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Or another way to think of it is whole step, half whole whole, half whole whole. Now if we were to start a minor scale on A, we would get A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. So just like the C major scale had all natural notes, the A minor scale has all natural notes, and that's unique about both of those scales. Any other major scale, any other minor scale, will require sharps and flats to produce the same pattern. Let's look at one of those right now. Let's do the F minor scale. So we're going to have F, a whole step up from F is G, and then a half step up from G is not G sharp, but A flat, because we've already used G. Now, a whole step up from A flat would be B flat, and then a whole step up from B flat is C. Now we get to the next half step in our pattern and we can't use C sharp because we've already used C, so we have to use D flat. Now a whole step from D flat gives us E flat, and a whole step from E flat gives us F. So we have seven unique pitches and then we repeat the first pitch at the end at an, at an octave higher from where we started. Let's try a different one. We just did F minor. Now let's do F sharp minor. We call it F sharp minor because now it's built on the sharp version of F. And it will look different from this scale because it's starting on a different pitch. So again, our pattern, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. What that looks like from F sharp, a whole step up would be G sharp. And then a half step up would be A. A whole step up from A is B. A whole step up from B is C sharp. Very important that we remember where those sharps or where those half steps naturally occur and where that, that has to produce a sharp there to create a whole step. So we've got whole, half, whole, whole. Now a half step up from C sharp gives us D. A whole step to E and we need another whole step up from E, which is not F, because that's a half step. So then it ends up being F sharp. And again, we start and end on the same note, characteristic of standard scales. Each note is a different letter in the alphabet, so we've used each letter once and only once. And this is what makes minor scales sound sad, this different pattern than what a major scale would have.